This Can-Am air intake system is designed to increase vehicle power and acceleration by reducing restriction in the intake path. The 57-1555 air intake has received a CARB-EO number and it is street legal in all 50 states. This air intake system fits 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, and 2010 Jeep Grand Cherokee with 6.1 liter engines, in addition to other vehicles identified on the KN website or catalog. KN power testing showed an estimated power gain of 12 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, with this air intake installed on a 2007 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8 with a 6.1 liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather, and other variables. With the air intake installed, we ran the vehicle on the dyno to test the sound comparison versus the stock intake. The intake kit includes components that have been designed or matched to the needs of these vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Detailed installation instructions are included with this kit. The tools needed for this install are shown. Turn off the ignition and disconnect the negative battery cable. Release the red locking tab and disconnect the air temperature sensor electrical connection. Disconnect the crankcase vent from the valve cover. Loosen the hose clamp that secures the intake tube to the throttle body. Release the two airbox clamshell clips. Remove the upper airbox housing and intake tube assembly. Using a small screwdriver, release the center holding pins and the six grill retaining clips. Remove the six grill retaining clips from the grill. Then, tilt the grill forward and lift, removing it from the vehicle. Pull the fresh air duct forward to disconnect it from the air box, and then remove it from the vehicle. Remove the air box mounting bolt. Lift the lower air box, removing it from the vehicle. Remove the stock air box mounting grommet. Install the saddle clamp onto the tube mounting bracket with the provided hardware. Remove the upper alternator mounting bolt. Install the tube mounting bracket assembly onto the upper alternator mount using the bolt removed in the previous step. Install the provided C bracket onto the heat shield with the provided hardware. Install the large L bracket onto the heat shield with the provided hardware. Install the small L bracket onto the heat shield with the provided hardware. Install the short edge trim onto the heat shield assembly. Install the long edge trim onto the heat shield assembly. Install the heat shield assembly into the vehicle. Secure the lower and upper air box mounts and washer bottle stud with the provided hardware. Install the silicone hose onto the throttle body and secure with the provided hose clamp. Remove the air temperature sensor from the stock intake tube. Install the provided grommet into the can and intake tube. Install the air temperature sensor into the grommet installed into the can and intake tube in the previous step. Install the 1 quarter inch NPT fitting into the can and intake tube. Install the can and intake tube into the silicone hose on the throttle body and align with the saddle clamp. Then, secure the intake tube with the provided hose clamps. Install the provided crankcase vent hose onto the valve cover fitting. Then, connect the open end of the 1 quarter inch NPT fitting installed into the can and intake tube. Reconnect the air temperature sensor electrical connection. Install the air filter adapter into the can and air filter and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the silicone hose onto the can and air filter assembly and secure with the provided hose clamp. Install the Canon air filter assembly onto the Canon intake tube 
and secure with the provided hose clamp. Reinstall the grill assembly and secure with the factory retaining clips. Reconnect the vehicle's negative battery cable. Double check to make sure everything is tight and properly positioned before starting the vehicle. The carb exemption sticker in the kit must be visible under the hood so the emissions inspector can see it when the vehicle is required to be tested for emissions. It would be necessary for all K&N high flow intake systems to be checked periodically for realignment, clearance and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. For more product information, go to knfilters.com. K&N makes products for nearly every vehicle on the road. The K&N website allows you to search products by vehicle or dimension, download installation instructions, view dyno charts showing estimated horsepower gains for this product, and view product details. For information on where to buy K&N products, go to knfilters.com.